Welcome to Living La Vida Infopreneur with Scott Patton. We'll be doing our weekly check-in. And I'm just going to come clean here, folks. Last week, I was actually in New Orleans at a conference. And so for our first episode, we had actually pre-recorded that. So two weeks have passed, actually, since I talked to Scott last time. So um, we'll see how things go with that. Uh, So let's just jump right into it. Welcome, Scott. Glad to get a chance to talk to you now. How did your past week or two go in general? In general, it went really well. Um, This time of year, my sister, my brother, and my mom all have birthdays all squished together. And uh, so we went off to an island on Friday and spent three days just uh, having, enjoying each other's uh, company. So not a lot of work. It was kind of nice to be able to just pack up and go away for a while. Yeah, it definitely is. So uh, over the course of the past two weeks, what is something that did not go according to plan? I went to uh, Toronto about three months ago. And while I was there, I did uh, at least three, if not four recordings of courses that were each an hour to an hour and a half long. And unfortunately, the room had this massive echo. And so now I have, I either have to find a sound engineer who can remove it, because I can't, and my video editor can't, or I have to redo it all. And of course, being there, we had a beautiful backdrop. We, I mean, it was spectacular video. And it goes, goes, goes like, like, like this, this, this. And it's just like, oh. wow. Okay. Yeah. Of course, now I have to tell them, which I don't want to tell them. And uh, yeah, so so that's a that's a little bit of frustration because sometimes it's a lot easier just to do what we're doing here. We have total control, no problem. Uh, but, you know, it's nice to make it interesting. And, sure. And- that one hurts. Yeah, that's a big one. Um, <laughs> we'll have to see um, how uh, how you worked around the one. I have a suspicion of what's going to happen with that. But uh We won't dive into that right now. Instead, let's move on to something that did go well for you over these past couple of weeks. I have my course creating system down to an art. And I did some work with Tracy Goodwin. I love her. She's a voice coach, which is perfect for podcasters, right? We don't know um, how to talk and do all these things. So we did a course on passion, on storytelling, on breathing, if you can believe it. And one more, pacing, how to change things up and all the rest of it. So, of course, we got on Skype. We recorded. I actually was so excited. I did the editing myself to get it done really fast. Yeah. And we had one course where we recorded on Monday. Monday evening, I sent it in for review. And Tuesday morning when I woke up, it was, yes, no fixes. Wow. So I was so happy about that. So we have three. I have one in review right now two that are live and today i'm going to be editing the last one that's amazing that that's super cool okay so what do you have that's uh, on tap for this coming week then uh well i have uh, about three courses that i'm going to be recording this coming week and i have um one thing i really want to do so that's why i'm going to say it now and i've been putting it off putting it off putting on off is okay actually doing some like getting a marketing system in place so it's kind of like put out the coupons to facebook groups and and i discovered when i started looking at this there are coupon groups like in the uk that have 36,000 members yeah who knew you know i was sending it off to these little unimi groups that had like 500 members so i want to kind of see how that sort of works how they you know what they think about getting courses because most of it's like for uh, a coupon on on um, some soap or something, right? Right. But I still think if you got thirty six thousand people, maybe some of them want to know something about makeup or I don't know what it would be, right? And not that I have a makeup course, but you know, <laughs> yeah. when you look at groups and you know where a lot of people are, then if you can figure out what it is they want, it's so easy to just like talk to the owner of the group first of all, please, sure, am them or see if they like that sort of stuff. And then just say, you know, I've got this thing I'd like to offer to your group. What do you think? Sometimes they won't answer you. Sometimes they'll answer you and say no. Sometimes they'll say yes. I don't know. But once I started looking into these coupon groups and Udemy is all about couponing, then I thought, wow. So I want to really get into, I have like five ideas, including lots of YouTube videos. And uh, I haven't really spent a lot of time on that. 
okay. having said that, I do do a regular daily review of stock options with my stock option guy. And we, we just the other day got some guy that says, man, I just love all these reviews that you do. And I've, I've signed up for your course. Thanks a lot. And I was excited to talk to you. So the leads do come from YouTube. And I awesome. Doing it over and over and over again. It's important. Great. And that's exactly the type of thing we're doing right now. And speaking of things that you do, I know that you've got one that you got to run to here quickly. So thanks for checking in with me today. And I'll look forward to talking to you next week. Yep. See you later, Mark. Thanks for doing this. Bye. Bye. Bye.